Hey, it's Jonathan with Car Generator, and we're going to hook up the car generator right now and show you how easy it is to do. This is a car generator unit. I'm going to take it to the front of the car, right here. Super simple. I'm going to open this up. Pop this. Oh, like that. These are the heat proof booster cables right here. Part of the magic of car generator. Pull it out like so. And then take this strap. As you can see on the back, there's a little adjustable toggle that you can pull this up or down to adjust for different kinds of vehicles. And we're gonna just simply hang it on there. On the back of the car generator, just to point out, there's a, a rubberized uh, pad so that it doesn't scratch the front of your car. And we're just gonna hook it on like that. We simply take the booster cables, hook them up, just like so. In this case, we'll go like that. And then we take our handy extension cord and run the power from the car generator to whatever we want. So right here, I'm gonna take this. And this is the car generator inside. And we'll simply plug it in like that. Make sure that the power switch is on and we now have power ready to roll. And then you can take the power meter, which is included with car generator, and plug it in to your extension cord. Voila, we have power. This meter shows you how much power you're using as you plug different things in. And now we're going to plug in our Sultan induction cooktop, which we have, a single burner induction cooktop that ranges from 300 to 1800 watts. We're gonna simply plug that in like this. It's, no, it's using almost no power right now because we haven't started it up yet. And we're going to go ahead and add some water. Costco water. Into our pot. Just for an example. And then we're going to switch the induction cooktop on and switch it on and there we go look at the power meter thousand watts and we are now running the induction cooktop from our car with no connection to the grid. We are off grid, baby. And in a couple of minutes, just like that, we have full boiling water. Check that out. From our car. We can cook pasta, we can heat soup, we can cook dinner, we can fry eggs, we can fry bacon, we can cook anything you can think of on this kind of a induction cooktop from your car. Isn't that like the coolest thing? So Car Generator did a great job of boiling water right here and as you can see for about the same money and the same weight what you can buy is this Yeti which is a Yeti 400 and if you're hoping to use this with an induction cooktop sorry not gonna work. Uh, let's plug this guy in Oh, we got that terrible beep sound. It doesn't like it. It doesn't like it at all. I'm going to switch on the induction cooktop. I'm going to go ahead and switch it on. And it's not even starting. We turn the Yeti off. Switch it back on again. And nope. No dice. Nope, 1,000 watts, can't do it. It's only 400 watts, obviously, but it's about the same price and it's about the same weight. So, or you can also uh, buy a bigger Yeti 
So there's a bigger version of this for about $1,500 I think it is and it's a lot heavier and it could actually run this for maybe about a half an hour roughly. So there you go.